the whole logo and concept of SEEDS is based on cultivating dynamic students. So planting the seeds at the beginning of the school year so that they will be successful throughout. So flourish and grow throughout the school year. And that's basically the whole purpose of the design. Um, students growing into dynamic humans and really doing all that, having all that they need for a successful school year. We have worked very hard to make this very different from a typical back to school giveaway because we feel like the supplies and the book bag on your back are important, but we feel like giving you resources and information on how to help that young person, that young person in your life throughout the school year um, is, is equally, if not more important. We can always go out and buy another pack of pencils, but building a young person up so that they have pride in themselves and they care about what they do and where they're going is invaluable. So we should do that one, right? For the city of Hampton, the average income is about $54,000. In this community, in the census tract in particular, the average is half that, about $27,000 for a household. So that is a direct correlation to being able to provide supplies for one or multiple children to have a successful school year. And last but not least, a lot of people may not like it, but Saturday at a football field, it's full. Tuesday night at a PTA meeting, we're underrepresented. And that's where we want to encourage our parents to speak and don't, don't be reactive, get involved, push your students, support the educator. You're preparing your attitude, you might have a bad day today. Because your attitude's prepared in the way that that music got changed. Now on the flip side, if you put on some music that prepares your attitude in the right way, A lot of things that most people think are common knowledge, a lot of families don't have the information based on their own background or experiences. So I think equipping parents with knowledge, equipping guardians, family members with knowledge, I think is one of the biggest things. Um, and also making available more opportunities for them to, to learn about different resources and programs for their families and just cultivating those experiences. We have the food bank come in because a lot of folks have limited income and I think everybody knows groceries are expensive and, and healthy food is really expensive. So it was our idea to bring in the food bank to say this is what you can eat on a budget. It's still good, it's not processed, Try, this is a way to prepare it that your kids will eat it and enjoy it. And we have financial institutions that come in because you know, you may say that back to school has nothing to do with money. Well, if you're pushing this child to do well, as a parent, you should be preparing yourself to help them get where they want to go after they finish that 12th year, of their 12th grade year. So somebody to come in, and we're not doing anything very high level. The little things you can do today and every day to encourage that young person that you are responsible for to make good decisions in school and ultimately in their community. All of these agencies provide information, resources, and some type of service that they could really benefit from. So we want to use this as an opportunity to provide them with that information. And you know, the whole premise of the event is to equip families with information to have a strong start to the school year. So by connecting them with the organizations, they, they, they'll have information so that they can be proactive about um, seeking out additional support as they need it. Wouldn't you rather support an event that is focused on long-term outcomes and the success, of, the success of young people? Meaning, a young person that's ready to go to school, that's eager to learn and expand their horizons, is less likely to do everything negative and not see their future future potential and so they'll do negative things because they don't see a light at the end of the tunnel. I'm really pleased with how this program has grown and the number of sponsors that we have and the number of families that we're able to serve. 
Um, we've, we've seen a tremendous growth over the, the three years that we've done this event, and I would just like to continue it and hopefully spread it out to other community centers in the, in the city. To find out more about the SEEDS program, you can call the center and, and ask for me directly, uh, Cynthia White, 727-1200. Um, if you want to donate, if you want to serve on the planning committee, um, if you want to become a vendor or possibly complete a, a presentation. And then on the other end, if you wanted to get involved with the community center on a long-term basis, we're always looking for volunteer support. The majority of our programs are supported heavily by volunteers volunteers. Um, we take one-time commitments and ongoing commitments at the same level. Um, we provide the background check at no cost to you. Um, we work with your schedule. And I always tell folks, if you're thinking about doing it, just give me a call. We can talk about it. We have some needs where we need volunteers, but the best thing about it is I don't know everyone else's time or time availability or their talents, but if you have a talent that you want to share with the community, you know, we can definitely work with you to afford you that opportunity.